name is Dr. Edith Eva Eager. I was um, a very talented gymnast as a child. I was going to be prepared actually for the Olympics, that's what I was told. And, and uh, Hitler had other ideas, and so I, uh, I ended up uh, sitting in, in a car, May 1944. Um, my mama held me closely, and she said, we don't know where we're going, we don't know what's going to happen. Just remember, no one can take away from you what you put here in your own mind. When I arrived, I think it was May 22nd, 1944, there was a lot of chaos. My sister Magda, my older sister, and my mother and I were facing a man at the end of the line. His name was Dr. Mengele. And he pointed my mom to the, go to the left and my sister and I to the right. And I followed my mom. And he grabbed me and he said, you're going to see your mother very soon. She's just going to take a shower. And so I asked the first person, when will I see my mother? And she pointed to the chimney, fire coming out of the chimney. She says, you better talk about your mother in past tense because she's burning there. I was told every day I'm never going to get out of here alive. I was told every day the only way I will get out of here is as a corpse. But I didn't allow them to get inside me. I learned that. I learned that very quickly. Not to really allow them to murder my spirit. The only other story, and I can only speak for myself, I don't think I'll ever overcome what happened, but I came to terms with it, and I think there is a difference. Auschwitz has helped me to be what I am today, more compassionate, a better listener, more patient, not judging people. I have a lot of faith in you. I think you're going to bring about a much better world than my generation ever did. You're going to bring a world uh, that we could finally form a human family so we can survive. That's my dream. That's my dream speech. I, I do have a dream. Yes. yes. I put, I put my life into your hands easily. You are the future, and I hand you the torch. <laughs>